I've now attached those block steps to the side of the ship. I'm a little disappointed in that when I first started this model showed this opening here and I'm sure that's a an opening so you can load and unload cargo but now some of them that I see do not have this fill or this open so I may work on making a, a segment or a section that will cover that up eventually but anyway those are in place I'm going to stain them darker and uh, I'll continue the build I've begun working on this cabinet that sits on the upper deck and there are some parts that look identical. They're A14 and A13, but I think one is a little thicker than the other and it helps it fit together. So here it is assembled and I just played with it. Uh, I'm not sure which is 13 and which is 14, but you can see this one back here is a little thinner. So I think the thick ones go on the ends and those are probably 14 and the thinner one so that it'll fit are 13. The base is A17 and the top is A16 and the important part is A16 has some uh, carvings into it and so that's the part that goes on top and will show and also note that all of these pieces have a little etching around each of the corners. And then A15 are the feet, which I'll get those on put on momentarily. And then A18 is a little piece that will go across the base, right across there. I've decided that I'm going to have 18. I think this is 18. Anyway, the little piece that goes across the base to cover up the plywood look. And then I'll stain this piece. And then the legs will go down here with the oval towards the ends. Here's the bench finished. I've got some touch-up work to do as far as staining where the, I have little sand marks where I took the the nib off from the plaque that it was on. For the wheel, it takes parts B11, 12, 13, and 14. 11 are small round pieces that are two of them on the inside and then on the outside are uh, B13s and they're a little larger and they, the hole was oversized. Another thing to mention is there's a B12 part piece on both sides of the wheel and that gives kind of acts like a washer so the wheel can turn or pivot. Then I had to use just a small dowel rod for the axle part. I did have to uh, shape it a little bit smaller because I didn't have anything quite that small. It's actually smaller than a toothpick. Then um, B14 are the legs that it stands on. And my kit did not come with the wheel itself, but I had ordered some uh, nautical like jewelry through Amazon, very inexpensive and it is just the right size. On the bottom one of the uh, handles had a loop that you could wear it on a necklace and I put it at the very bottom and I just cut the loop off so it uh, it's not noticeable at all. So that's the uh, the captain's wheel. On either side of the door into the captain's chambers, there's one of these statues. And above it is I-7, and below it is I-8. And I've got those in here, so I'll bring those out. I've These were kind of a plastic material. I've pre-painted it gold, but now I'm going to take some paint and kind of age it so it's not such a uh, distinctive color. To age the statues, I just take some um, 
acrylic paints and I just put a few colors just a little dab until I feel like I get the right patina we'll say and it just takes a very small amount and after I just tap the, the statues a little bit then I wipe it lightly with a paper towel and try and get an aged aged look to it so here it is on the pedestal I go ahead and do the back side also so that's pre-glued in place I'll finish this and, and then I'll put it on the ship if I didn't say already the top of the statue is I-7 and then the base is part I-8 two statues are in place and I've also put in place the cabinet and the wheel and like in some other things I actually drilled a little pit not all the way through the wood just something so that wood could set down in there and then put a drop of super glue in each one same thing with the cabinet and then I think you can see I drilled two small holes for uh, a rope to go through so I looped the rope around the steering and then down through those two holes to represent the um, steering mechanism connections. The next part is on sheet G, lowercase g, and you'll need parts 7, that is these, and there's actually four of them on that sheet, there's two more, and G8, and there's the two G8s, and then one of the bells. I don't want the bell to be that new looking obviously on a pirate ship so I'm going to darken it with this Novacan black patina. We used this before you may have seen it in an earlier video and I've saved this container. I don't want it to get I want it to have some color so I'm going to leave it in there just a second or two. There we go. You know what? That's probably about how I want it. So now I'm going to rinse it off because this is a, an acid-based product. And I, you can save this. Uh, it does not eat plastic. Not sure about, well, you would not want to put it in glass because it etches glass, I believe. Don't hold me to that, but I've had it in this little plastic container for several weeks. So now that bell has a much richer color to it. And again, that was just after a few seconds. The longer you leave it in, the darker it will get. So the bell came with this little clapper thing that you can see inside there. But with that on there, it held it up too high or too low. So the bell was oversized and almost touching the floor. So I just cut this top part out. I took one of these little brass hooks squeezed it together and then ran that post up through the bell. So what's holding the bell, I then, you might be able to see, I drilled a hole all the way through the top of it and could push that brass stem all the way up and then put a dab of super glue on it to hold it in place. And that is holding the bell up higher. And actually the bell can move. Well, I can't really show that but it can swing just slightly. This support it goes um, but just behind the rear mast. The posts are I-4. The main support is B-19 and the um, supports for the deck are I-3. I will have to drill these holes out again so that my um, belaying pins will fit. Here are the items I've completed. The uh, cabinet, the captain's wheel, uh, this tie-down post, and the bell.
Well, that should conclude this uh, part 16 and I'll continue working on it and post additional videos as the build continues.